this meeting is only for the beginners of RPA and this is not for someone who already know UI path. Um, this is absolutely for the beginners like who just started who are taking the career in the first place. Okay, I'm here with my team members Surabi as well as Shushma. Surabi is the mentor or will be your mentor for beginners training. I'll be your program lead or program director and I'll be working to make sure that the program runs effectively without any hiccups. And let's get started with the presentation. I'm excited along with you guys to be able to present in this meeting and to connect with you all. So there are some feedbacks that are available from the previous team members. I suggest you to go ahead and read through them. And yes, so in this presentation, you will be able to understand for the next 30 days or next 30 day timeline for a four week time period, Monday to Friday, what are we going to plan and what is our career goal and what can we do to make sure we get things done? Okay, so these are some important links where uh, you can go ahead and get connected with me you can go to vajrang.org and if you are uh, looking for new tools or new technologies uh, then this is the place with respect to ui part i'm talking about um we are training for beginners and projects as well there are two forms that are already placed go to vajrang.org and you can fill since the first form is already done uh, today is the meeting that we are connecting the second meeting will be on the next week next saturday and that is only for the projects not for the beginners so all the beginners this is exclusively for you and if you want to check anything on the code collaborations you can go to github and uh, vajrang fnb and if you want to check on the success stories of our organization go to instagram and search for uh, vajrang underscore org and you will be able to see and uh, we also have a YouTube channel where we are posting content regularly on the basis of self-learning basis if you want to learn something. Multiple use cases and multiple RE framework videos are available. You can go ahead and look at it. Okay, well, I am your program leader. Uh, my name is Vajrang and I'm also a UiPath MVP uh, for the year 2023. And thank you so much for all the members who helped me out and to spread out my wings across all the UiPath community and the forum. And this from this meeting, I would also invite you to come into the UiPath community and to enjoy the benefits as well as enjoy the great career expansions that you can have. I'm a UiPath architect and I do have more than a decade of um, development as well as UiPath experience. I constantly and I'm continuously were right, working right now to be a speaker at multiple events and last week we converted or we created a meeting on interview use cases. So if you are looking for interviews, so go ahead. You will be able to see those videos in YouTube. So next one, please. Well, this is the links where you can connect with me and LinkedIn, WhatsApp and GitHub is the are the places. Um, most of you might be connected with me in the already in my WhatsApp. So Shushma, what I would suggest is please go ahead and post my WhatsApp group link so that people can join. So if you haven't joined, please go ahead and join. Well, there are some pretty key milestones. One uh, is a separate slide that I have added next. Well, there are four members who are already hired, not into our organization, but into a different MNC. Um, and these four members are currently living their dream of RPA journey. And congratulations to all the four members. We will have names next. Um, celebrating, we are now a community of 8,000 8, plus uh, passionate subscribers of Automate with UI uh, WhatsApp and as well as YouTube channels and we are having a thriving community of 500 plus members in the organization who are learning on regular basis and trying to understand and get into RPA community and UI path. We are young and agile team so we are constantly working to learn and implement new things and in the same um, expansion we have expanded our team size and we have new food developers who are doing excellent in their work and we are we are going to see a lot many projects in future from our organization and um, we are also working to help the community with respect to answering in the UiPath forum so ask Vajrang is one of the key tag that you can place and use a hashtag at the rate ash Vajrang, uh, ask Vajrang. so that will help you for our team to get notified and if you want us to answer something and we started UiPath mock interviews as in the beginning of 2023 and we are still conducting as a part of interview training plan as well as project training plan and if you want to have only in pro mock interviews then please go ahead and check on that and uh exponent we are working with an exponential career growth and um we are make trying to make sure that you have great and remarkable salaries and hikes now 
I think you might have seen some of the testimonials right now. Most of the testimonials that we are seeing are more than 90 to 100% hikes. Why people are able to achieve it? It is because they are able to show their skill set and they were able to be available on what is required for an interviewer and exactly say what an interviewer is expecting. And they were able to demand more hike and more salaries. So proud a moment for all the members as well as our team to see a 100% hike as well as 150% hike, 200% hikes. Well, it's not for everyone. Again, it's members who have really struggled day and night and worked to work with us to get those hikes and congratulations to all the members. So there are four programs, as I have mentioned, basics, projects, mock interviews and project consultations. So if you have any requirement and if you are thinking that, OK, I have a project and that must be done, we will be able to help you out. Um, Sushma, I would suggest everyone uh, please mute everyone. Okay, these are the new interns whom uh, we have taken into our organization. Congratulations to the new interns. Well, they will be moved into developer roles soon, but now they are learning. Swati, Narendra, Parvati and Krishnaraj. So these are the members who got hired with us uh, to a different organization. And in the month of April 2023, congratulations for Vijay, Kavya, Karthik and Vamshi. And great, great achievements. Uh, so these are the members who joined in the projects training program, basics training program and have taken the career path, moved from different career to RPA career. And instead of uh, going uh, with a very least salary, now they are working with the top note salary as per the current market trend. And congratulations for everyone. Next one, please. I would like to uh, introduce Surabhi uh, Uma Devi. Now she is uh, working as a UiPath associate manager. She is also working directly with UiPath client. And um, she already trained more than 100 plus members for the basics team. And she'll be your mentor. Uh, Surabhi, please unmute and introduce yourself and you can continue the discussion. Yes, Vajrang. So thank you so much for this uh, opportunity, Vajrang. So I have total eight years of experience in UiPath uh, as associate manager. So um, I've been working as a mentor for this basic program since a year and we have trained 100 plus people from this basic training uh, program so not only with the training program uh, but also we are uh, giving a lot of opportunity to the people who are eligible for the in uh, as a interns so like you know this is not the program where we are going to train the people and we are going to leave the people but this is the platform where we are concentrating on each and every person and we are making our sessions more interactive like each and every week we are going to cover some of the topics and uh, on each and every topic we are going to give all the tasks to everyone so it's not like uh, we are going to give the one task for each concept no so for the entire basic program we are going to cover nearly 35 to 36 tasks along with this we are also giving the training for the interviews the people who are pressure the people who are going as a six months experienced person the people who have a lot of career gap so all of these people we are training like how to attend themselves in the interview and how to prepare themselves for the interviews so and also like for each and every week uh, along with this concept along with this task and also we are uh, reviewing each and everyone's code and also we are giving feedbacks how you need to develop your code and what is the best practices in your code and everything so like you know if you are giving any person particular task on the class itself we are asking the people to share the screens and to work on the particular task so that we are making sure that they can get confident while sharing the screen in any organization so what happens normally the people who have a lot of career gap like a five years six years seven years so they will hesitate to uh, talk in the public they will hesitate to uh, have the conversation in the organization level so this in interactive session is particularly for those people who are who will estate to share talk and who will stay to share the screen who has a uh, lack of confidence level so this is not only the basic training program but also uh, this is the program where we are giving so much of confidence to the people who can survive in this competitive world so this is the one thing i want to say and the other one is as you're seeing on the screen we are whatever we are covering the concept level on weekly basis like this is a week one concepts week two and week three and week four concepts so in the week four along with this interview questions we are also conducting one exam along with this exam uh, 
I'm, we are asking each and every people to write that exam. So it's like a competition among yourself within your team members. So for example, if you have five to 10 members within your team and everyone has to write the answer for the same question within the team because you people will understand how much concepts you are able to write in the paper. See, writing the words and understanding the concepts is totally a different. So if you are able to write technically, that means whatever you are understanding that you can write in the paper. So by that way, we are uh, going to interact with the people. So along with this interview question and also in the basic program, we are helping each and everyone to complete their UiPath Foundation certification. So we are also giving the guidance how to complete the certification and uh, uh, what are the benefits if you complete the certification? See, everyone will ask me the question like why we need to complete the certification for this program. Do we have any benefit for this? Obviously, we have the benefit for this certification because you know you will have a lot of concepts which is not covered in the basic program, and you'll also be known like it will give you more weightage to your resume if you complete the certification in your I mean in, in your academy. So this is a one of the benefit for the com completing of the certification. So and along with this, uh, like you know what whatever the task and whatever the concept you are going to complete that you you have to upload in the folders which can be accessible to me and Vajrang so that we can review your codes. So by this we are training each and every people and also we are giving a lot of opportunities to, to the people who are learning with this basic program. So who can attend this training program? The people who are very new to UiPath and don't they don't even have the coding knowledge. So the people who are don't have any technical background. So these kind of people can attend this program and also they can train themselves as an RPA developer. So and one more thing I want to say like this is a everyone thing that you we have to understand very uh, technical way and we should have uh, some coding knowledge to complete this training program. Of course, if you have some basic knowledge that will be fine. If you don't have that basic knowledge also that will be fine. It doesn't make any much difference between if you have the coding knowledge and if you don't have the coding knowledge because it's a completely low code pl low code platform. So that's why we are here to help you like how you need to train yourself. I mean for this as a RPA developer. So this is what I want to tell from my side Vajrang. So if you have anything you can discuss with the team. Yep, we'll show the uh, resources later, uh, but let's uh, continue with the next slides, please. Sure. Yeah. Yes, Vajrang, you can proceed yep. uh, for the next slide. Uh, so we have observed something um, and these are some of the achievements that I would like to bring in like um, more than 61 members who have completed uh, the project training program have also completed the UI RPA as well as UI ARD certifications and they are able to complete it within the first attempt and congratulations for them and uh, we are delivering uh, we delivered already a 50 percent uh, gift voucher on UI RPA as well as 50 percent gift voucher on UI ARD well these are not constant gift vouchers uh, we have already delivered and uh, we also have members who have acquired the certifications from taking the 50 percent vouchers and uh, project training programs are helping thousands of members and interview uh, basics training program are the this is the program where people are able to get started on how to start with an RPA journey. Again, this is not a program, a basics program is not for the people who already have experience with UiPath. This is for absolutely newbies who are trying to start and who have already started but were not able to figure out how to continue and how to work on with other team members. Basically, you need to have some helping hand and you should have some members who can guide you. That, that's the way how you can learn quicker and faster. Well, there is a saying that if you work alone and you, you may move faster, but you may not know the direction. But if you are walking in a group and if there is someone who can guide you, you can go longer as well as you can go. You can also go to go through the correct route um, than going or wandering across different um, videos. The major issue that people normally will face when they are trying to self-learn. See, even I, uh, when I start some video on YouTube and if I try to self-learn, I will try to complete that video and I'll go to the next video. But I exactly don't know how to continue further and how to make sure that this is enough to go into interviews. This is enough to go into projects. That kind of uh, judgmental capacity is what I'll be lacking if I'm going to self-learn, but that's what will be able to help you out in this program. Well, these are the members who have already acquired certifications, uh, UI ARD and UI RPM. And there is also one more person who have acquired certification, not from by the 50% voucher, but yeah. Uh, so congratulations to all the members who are making their dreams come 
group by learning a new skill as well as acquiring certifications and trying to move to the different roles. Go to the next one, please. Uh, normally, we'll have questions like will the sessions, uh, whatever the sessions we have will be recorded or not. Yes, all the sessions will be recorded. But again, we are not having this sessions in the interest of uh, giving one more video that you can always watch in YouTube. No, these are like interactive meetings that we normally have and these are recorded so that in case if you want to come back and watch and if you want to revisit that particular moment, what exactly did we discuss? That's the reason we are having this meeting recordings and the meeting recordings will be available for you immediately and only the members who are attending the meeting will have the access for the recordings. And if you are missing the meeting record, you will still be able to access, but you need to access, request an access for that. So uh, let's assume that you are not willing to go with a paid training program but if you are willing to learn self-learn yourselves well uipath is absolutely providing great ways of uh, self-learning yourself with academy courses uh, which is uipath advanced uh, developer foundation uh, developer foundation uipath developer advanced as well as your rps starter go in this uh, chronolog chronological uh, sequence uh, just start with the starter foundation and then the advanced this will definitely help you uh, to understand um, on the advanced level well again um, if you are going with uipath academy you should have some basic knowledge on the coding as well as you should have some basic knowledge on development uh, so that will be a roadblock that you need to cross at any point of time so if you are willing to self-learn this is a great platform that you can go ahead and look at for well there are also paid certifications that i have already shown you few members have acquired them so RPA developer certification associate is for 12,500. The cost might be increased with including taxes. Advanced can cost you around 16,500 uh, plus taxes can be included. So this will definitely give you uh, edge on a uh, few on few interviews again it's not mandatory for you to get a paid certification because let's assume that there are 100 jobs you everyone cannot get a paid certified uh, person and they need someone who are good enough though they don't have certifications so certifications are not not mandatory these are like icing on the cake but the cake is always important go ahead to the next one well will, will you get the certification for this course that you are taking from us yes absolutely you will get it if you are requesting again you should not get one more certification you already have them a file of certificates with you which are not absolutely helping you this should not be one of the certificate within those certificates this should be a program where you sh it should be a guiding force for you to move to the next levels of your career next one please so github scorecard is what we will use uh, to measure our success um on how many members have actually written code and committed the code so go ahead and check out vajrang um, in the github you will be able to see the contributors and contributions please go to the next one and these are the achievements of last team members we have 70 750 plus issues bugs and pull requests committed so this is not an easy number to achieve with a simple simple github repo this is not easy to achieve you need a ton of people who are constantly updating the code and who are reviewing the code and who are working on the code directly so congratulations for all the members who started their career journey into development practice see when you're starting to learn your path it's not only about your path that you need to learn you also need to know how to how the code works and how others will interact with you how you can share the code and how the deployments will happen all these things will come into picture when you are working uh, with your path so these are the things that we need to concentrate on go to the next one please so the timings uh, will be standard 6 a.m to 7 a.m in the mornings um, so great time for all the members who are starting their careers uh, with a new tool and great time to start your day also because that one thing on a day will be completed and on the rest of the day you can go to the regular activities that you have so 6 a.m to 7 a.m is the only time that we have and we are doing great and achieving a lot within this one hour what is the training course fees which is 12,999 this is for the four week time period along with this you are going to get a lot of resources and add-ons which will be available and members who are completing basics program will be moved to projects training program if you are completing all the tasks that are given and the project training program is a different fees that i would like to give you a highlight on but again we were able to deliver what we have committed to and we are able to deliver more with what we need to have as a fresher as well as who as a beginner well this is for the project training program uh, so this will give you an idea on what you are spending on and how much you are spending on and this is for the project training program and if you are 
willing to understand what is a project training program we will be having a next meeting on the next week also so please go ahead and attend that meeting and again that's not for the ex beginners project training is only for the members who already have experience with uipa if you have any questions you can definitely go ahead and ask me with vajang iphone b in my linkedin and also you can contact us in our instagram portals go to the next one i would suggest everyone to go ahead and join the group shushma please uh, send the automate with ui path whatsapp group link so that people will be aligned and they'll be able to connect okay you can press exit and uh, could you please show us the team's channels for me and as well as uh, the scorecards and the meeting recordings and all yes sure vajran yeah please uh, share the complete screen so if you're going to an organization well uh watching or attending meetings in zoom will not work attending meetings in google meets will not work or skype will not work you need to work with teams and uh especially for this organization we need to have everyone to work in an organization so you will be onboarded at a regular onboarding scenario in your organization and you need to be given credentials only then you will be able to access the organization's uh, resources and on the left you can see uh, vajrang.org uh, that's a channel where you it is general channel uh, for everyone and if you are going to see github rpa developer in 30 days any updates on it you have ui path updates click on ui path updates where you are going to see updates directly from ui path that are sent to us at a regular basis. and um on the left you can also see ui path basics so all the beginners this is the channel for you or this is the team for you and in this every month we will have a different channel and in the general you will have a general meetings and every detail that you can get from the organization so uh, sir we go ahead and explain about uh, the channels and you can show some samples on uh, the files as well as the trackers uh, sure vajra so this is the channels where we are going to maintain for our basics so this is the july batch july batch so here we are going to have all the i mean all the code tracks here so this is a team performance where uh, we are going to track in each and every one's code from here on people who are joining from uh, joining to the basics program they have to create their own folders over here and they have to upload their code here so that me or vajran can review the code and give the feedback on that so apart from this we also have this task tracker and from this task tracker like uh, the concept which we are going to cover as i mentioned earlier so all the concepts and all the concept tasks are mentioned here so this is the tracker where we are going to maintain for each and every person okay and also we are giving the tough competition between within your teammates only because uh, to check all this details so uh, like you know if you are doing very less tasks definitely we are going to ask ask the reason that why you have not completed for the particular task like there might be a reasons like some of the people they don't understand with the flow and some of the people they don't have i mean they have some personal issues obviously we accept all kind of a reasons but the thing is at the end of this program you have to complete all the task so we'll give you sufficient time for each and every one to complete the task if you are getting stuck in between definitely you have to reach out to us like where, what are the areas you are going to you are facing difficulties okay so we are the people who are going to help you in all the ways like a, i mean not in the concepts but also your personal development and everything so this is the tracker where we are going to maintain for each and every person and along with this this is a task list for each and every concept so this batch is still not it completed so we are completed 28 tasks till last week and we are going to complete few more tasks in the coming next week okay so this is one thing and the next is like recordings yes we have a separate recordings tab here so in this recording tabs you are going to have each and every recording from here only so remember this is only for view access only you will cannot download this recordings okay so this is only for internal purpose and the people who join basics pro l this uh, i can say one more point here so if you can see here in this uh, folders each and every person will upload their uh, task here so see this all are the tasks which has been which are uploaded by the team members okay so and uh, and also we are going to maintain separate whatsapp group for the basics programs like yeah. so if you are joining in the month of august then we are going to maintain a whatsapp group of august and uh, so in the whatsapp group you can coordinate within your teammates so i see many of the people like in this batch only i have seen lot of people who are coordinating with the team members they are discussing all the issues and they are able to resolve all kind of uh, issues which they are 
facing in our concepts. So that kind of a friendly environment will be available in our organization, in our program. So this is thank the- Thank you so much, Sarubi. Yes, thank you.